FTFE and welcome back to the channel does the stupidity what Ezra Miller has done for the opportunity for him to ever play Flash ever again in the DCEU. What's it with celebrities doing stupid things? Yeah, Will Smith, I'm talking about you. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me, guys. I know I have been away recently. Unfortunately, I have been incredibly ill. Um, <clears throat> in fact, the past few months have uh, been pretty bad for my health, including concussion, norovirus, and then the dreaded coronavirus. But uh, I am back, raring to go. We've got a uh, discussion slash debate tonight about sextants and the flat earth, which Mitchell from Australia may join. We will see what happens. He's got the link. He did ask me to send him the link. On a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Find the Find the Find the uh, we are speaking to Dave. Dave is someone who um, watches Nathan Oakley and uh, saw me go on to his channel alongside MC Toon to present Mitchell with his award um, and, and wasn't too happy with that. Dave, hello, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Craig? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you very much for joining. I do appreciate it. The conversation that you and I are going to have is about sextants and, you know, if they work on the flat earth slash versus if they work on a globe. Uh, now, obviously, you, you watch Nathan Oakley and, and you've seen all the arguments that Nathan uses for the sextant. And I presume that's the things that you're going to bring up, like, you know, no curved adjacent and things like that, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I say taco, they say taco. Taco, taco, taco. And, um, you know, to to go back on what you said, he said whether or not they work on a flat earth. I mean, to be honest with you, Craig, we only observe a flat earth. I mean, I completely disagree with that. I make many observations every day that suggest to me that we're on a sphere. Um, but observations so are just where you or, start or, with things. Uh, you know, it's, you but, know, I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, an observation can be anything to you, to somebody. It could be, oh, I, I appear to observe that the earth is flat to others. You could observe things which would appear to them to show that we're on a sphere. That's why you don't stop at observation. You do the rest of science, which flat earthers don't really like, you know, like forming a hypothesis to explain the observation and then the prediction from that hypothesis and testing that prediction and so on and so forth, which is things that we always do. Um, well, now, now to be fair, to be fair, Craig, you keep saying flat earthers don't like to do this and flat earthers don't like to do that, but globe believers don't like their how can I say this? Uh, their feet held to the fire. Oh, we do um, actually. You know, we, we like it quite a lot. Well, not not necessarily because of the uh, you know the um, you know balls in a shed. You know, for example, you know you, you guys. Correct. You know, yeah, I mean, the, you the experiment that's like repeated to, uh, constantly all over the world all the time. But there's no observed phenomenon, correct? Yeah, there is. They're the mass attracting mass. Where do we observe that in nature? But that's um, for okay. things go towards the ground. But know? that's relative density. Well, yeah, that, that's a lovely hypothesis. The hypothesis for me would be something different. You know, the observation of things attracting other things is what we see all over the universe. You know, it's just a natural observation that mass appears to attract mass under conditions. So we test that hypothesis, you know, with the well, no, I mean, uh, that's it. Things are, are more dense, they go down. Things are less dense, they but go Again, up. that's a lovely it's hypothesis, but then you need to form a prediction based on that hypothesis and test it with an experiment. We've done that with gravity by the Cavendish experiment. You know, that we tested our hypothesis and it, it turned out to be correct. And in fact, the Cavendish experiment's been repeated so many times that they actually did it with um like nano well, the original cabinet has not been repeated craig to be honest with you it's been repeated it's repeated all of the time in fact the uh blue marble science built balls his own version of it sorry balls in a shed have been repeated uh the balls in a shed you this experiment yes that has been repeated YouTube's been a bit slow tonight. <clears throat> yeah, Cavendish is, is obviously repeated all of the time, Dave. Uh, you know, 
in we verify the hypothesis all the time. Um, we love right, to do science. I mean, that, it, it could be it could be debunked with with a uh, with steam. No, it really can't because that matches the predictions of gravity, um, and you can't no, debunk something that matches correct. the I mean, predictions. So you know, steam well, going up rises. matches the predictions of gravity. How so? Because different things with different density have greater gravitational attraction, and if something has density. more gravitational attraction next to something else, then it's going to be pulled with a stronger force, which means that the other thing will describe... go up with the opposite force compared to it. Um, and we can no, show no, this no, uh, works right. not just up and down, but left and right. That's the entire point. I understand what you're saying, but but, but you're 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 assuming a force, Craig. You no, are... we're not assuming. We're testing it. That that's no, no, what science on, is. You don't make I... any assumptions. No, you are absolutely assuming a force because you are what you just described was relative density. Something less dense goes up, something more dense goes down. That's gas go down, go boom, boom. Now, That's why we no do gravity. the experiments to test the hypothesis. Yes. Uh, we we're gonna have to agree to disagree with that. Uh, I, 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 if you like. Uh, um, so th this is what it's about with flat Earth, right, Dave? It, it's about having a testable hypothesis. We don't just, you know, assume something and go that's right. Although in science making assumptions is part of the process that that's kind of what a prediction is. You know, when you have a hypothesis, you come up with a prediction for that hypothesis and then test that prediction. And the prediction must include an assumption of some kind, otherwise you can't do a prediction. Um, and that's something that we've been asking Flat Earth to do with a sextant is to show us how on the flat earth you can use a sextant to make a prediction and, and follow the predictions of what you sh expect to actually get your location you do the experiment all the way through but no one's ever actually explained how it all works from well, scratch so um but well from okay from scratch a flat earth is re required craig to get a uh, no it's level. absolutely 100 percent not required but the problem is you need a physical tangent to go to craig no you don't need a physical tangent as nathan cites very often the tangent is an imaginary line from the observer to the it's, horizon hold on, no 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 not no, physical a tangent, imaginary a tangent is a straight line craig yeah absolutely tangents are straight okay, thank you. straight lines on a sphere correct there is no straight lines on a sphere all things meant due to the terrestrial refraction remember craig yeah uh, that that's no issue because that's we have co we have refraction correction stuff but you know the thing is no, no, no. That, um the, the argument correction, craig. Terrestrial yeah, we, yeah, we, refraction. We, we, we do have re refraction corrections based on all the, the known you know qualities of refraction and how it's been quantified but but however how, however let, let me you, let me point out okay for terrestrial refraction you will require r where did you get r craig you don't need R for doing the calculations. Don't need for, you don't need for seven over six R. You don't need R. Yeah, that that's just applied backwards. It's fine. We you know we know that refraction is quantified and ignoring right. the seven. Wait, on, let man. me finish. Wait, let me finish. Ignoring the seven over six R. All we need to do is figure out the barometric R pressure. Let me finish. Let me finish. Argument, let right? me finish. Right. Dave, right. you need to let right. me finish when I'm talking. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. Okay. That's all awesome. we need to do is know the barometric pressure, the temperature, and the height of the observer, and we can apply the correct adjustments for refraction that make us know where the horizon would actually be so that we can have can the you, correct angle. That's what the refraction adjustment tables are for, and they are applied to the reading taken on a globe. Can you please show me the barometric mirror on the section? Barometric mirror. Yes. There's that you don't have mirrors that re measure exactly. barometric, but you exactly. measure the barometric pressure by measuring right. the barometric pressure with something that does that, which you know all sailors will have with them. Craig, when you use a sextant, you don't need a barometric pressure. You actually do, so that you know which corrections to uh, uh, apply. If you don't know the barometric pressure and the temperature and the height of the observer, you cannot apply the correct adjustments. You don't need the height of the observer, Craig. Yes, you do need I mean, the height of the observer I'm, because I'm, I'm you, you take no, no, you do need right. the height of the observer because you take the reading above yeah, the horizon. I, I, uh, you know, I you don't. Craig. I misspoke. I thought you said height of the of the star. I misspoke. No. That. No. Require it 
Uh, but sailors use it. Right, they, Dave, hold on, stop. That. Dave, hold on, stop. Sailors use it. Sailors use the refraction adjustment tables. Every time okay, they take okay. a reading with their sextant to find their position, they will then also Please provide, a citation. The Please provide a citation that a sextant requires barometric pressure reading. Okay, we could go through the algorithm for actually taking a second reading and what to do it, but if you Please would let me, if you would let me, uh, I could, okay, the citation is the fact that the refraction adjustment tables have a column for barometric pressure. Craig, that you know well as well as I do. Though you just saying it off the top of your head is not a citation. Uh, again, the um, the refraction adjustment tables that are used that you actually use have a column for barometric pressure. This is just to show you what we were talking about earlier, right? Um, when it's talking about refraction error ca corrections in sextant measurements. Um, and there's an entire section in here about uh, do, 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 the, the pressure, you know, needing to know what the barometric pressure is. The Earth's surface has a pressure of 760 millibars exactly, you know, and it increases, it decreases as you go up. So knowing the barometric pressure is actually a very important part of making the correct sex, uh, refraction adjustments for sextant measurements. And you have to, when you take your reading from the sextant, make tell adjustments me, for refraction. Citation, where they tell me, where they tell you, you have to use the barometric pressure. But hold on, are you, yeah. you you're going all just over the place. And, and uh, I, I was, was just, I was just responding. I was just getting you the citation that you asked for, showing that barometric pressure now, is very important that. in just the directions. That, that, you just said that that he obs uh, observed kind of parallel sun we don't ever observe parallel sun rays or we divergent right? uh, i Only didn't say i didn't divergent. say i didn't say anything about an observation uh he you, made this... you just said that when we, we just talked about yeah the, um, i said the, he made the, the assumption that sun rays were parallel which is 10 what we tend to see he assumed no we don't ever do yes, where do we see oh, where where do we observe parallel sun rays right? that's bullshit all the time if you actually look properly no, they're, they're parallel you're insane so um, I live in uh, in Scotland in the fir uh, in the Firth of Forth, right? And I've got mountains either side of me, and um, you know the, Craig, the ocean. If we observe, but I'm I'm talking. Realize, on, I'm second. Dave. So I'm, I'm literally in the middle of Dave. I'm literally in the middle of, point. Dave, in the middle of saying point, something. Please. You need to need to it's calm Dave, down. Dave, Dave, let me make this one Dave, point, Craig. I'm, I'm Dave, I, no, I'm, I'm in the middle of making a point. You can wait until I finished. Thank you. Right. So I live in the Firth of Forth. Uh, you know, and I've got mountains either side of me and I've got the water where it comes in from the ocean and goes underneath the fourth road bridge. So I get the most amazing cloud breaks here all of the time, right? Now, when you look at the sun rays coming through the clouds from one position, it looks like they diverge. But here's the amazing thing. If you drive alongside the coast and you watch those rays of light as you move along, they change position, showing that oh, they no, are they actually... Uh, they actually do. This is something you can do for yourself and look. You they know shift. how we know they don't? Uh, again, again, I haven't finished, Dave, so please All calm right. down. And as you drive sure. past, you can literally see the position of the rays coming through the clouds change because they are actually parallel, and you can see them doing that Negative. by just going past them. And the fact that they look like a divergent is simply the real case of perspective. Very much it like... The opposite, right? Very much it, like... It, please, Dave, let me finish. Very much All like right. when you look at train tracks going into the distance and they appear to converge, even though we know they are not, they are absolutely parallel. Now I have finished talking. This is the point where you talk. Sure. Now, you know how we know they're not parallel? Go ahead. Half, half the earth will be lit at all times. It is, yes. Half the earth is lit at all times? Yes, 50% of the earth is lit at all times, yes. <laughs> Are you not aware of this fact? Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, seriously, are you not aware of the fact? Now, hold that, on. You, like, now you are is lit at one time. Assumption after assumption. If the guy this is an assumption, this is a fact of reality. Half of well, the earth on. is lit at no, all you times. Said, you said that the guy who who um who measured the radius of the earth, which he didn't measure the radius of the earth, he, he said he assumed. A, a sun being far away. Yeah, that, they, that, they, 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 they knew it was far away because the rays came in parallel, yeah. So, you know. Bullshit. That's bullshit. You can keep saying it's bullshit, Dave. It doesn't change the fact that it's not. We don't observe parallel rays, Craig. We absolutely do, and I've just explained how we, we do. We absolutely don't. I mean, you can ignore we the evidence all you like. It doesn't do change not. it being true. 
Oh my God, man. Okay. Jesus so, Christ. I understand um, why people get so frustrated. Sitting there and I was like, oh! <laughs> Reality hits you hard, bro. Craig, when you pop that healing balloon, it expands throughout that vacuum just like it would through space. Yeah, and there would also be a gradient of pressure inside. Craig, show me the double dose of gravity that, that it's getting because gas pressure originates down at surface level and goes up. Okay. Mm. There's no right. there's no gas, gas pressure originating from space. Up in anyway, all right, all right. So you finished your point. No let, let, me, let me explain. No Dave, 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 so stop, stop. Up, Dave, 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 chill. Dave, breathe, up, Dave, breathe, right? breathe, Dave, breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale. One, two, three. Four, exhale, two, three, four. Right, okay. love to interrupt. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? The second law of thermodynamics refers to a specific type of system. That specific type of system it refers to is an isolated system. Isolated system. Do you know the only isolated system that science now, recognizes? So you're going to tell me that the second law of thermodynamics doesn't? Uh, that doesn't have anything to do with the Earth? You're insane. Once again, Dave, the second North Thermodynamics specifically deals... Uh, okay. No, you have to you, 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 what you, you keep, you keep, you keep is, interrupting. I just, I would, Dave, I I'm, try, please, Dave I'm trying to no. teach you some physics here, right? The second, second North Thermodynamics Dave, does it or does it not Dave, apply to the Earth? The, the second North Thermodynamics specifically refers to an isolated system. That's all the second third law of thermodynamics applies to. It's an Where isolated system. Oh okay, may I speak? All right. Do you understand so that though? Do you, under do you understand that it only applies to an isolated system? Okay, I heard what you said now. I, may I uh, rebut that? And you can try, but that's literally what the second law of thermodynamics is. Okay, fine. I heard what you said. Now, what I'm asking you is this. What you just said and slash described is that the subtle law of thermodynamics does not apply to the earth that's what you just basically it said. applies to an isolated system is the earth does an it apply? is okay, the great. earth an yeah, isolated no system question. it are yes or no question does the second law of thermodynamics apply to the earth yes or no it applies to isolated systems Greg, it's a yes or no answer. Does the no, the second law of thermodynamics does not apply specifically to Earth because Earth is, is not an it, isolated where system. Where was it founded, Craig? Where was it founded? It, it, where was it founded? The second law of thermodynamics wasn't founded by a human. Was he it is that? a law of the universe that was discovered by humans. Where? So, so um, let's well, have a look. Where? Where, let, let, Craig? Let's, where let's have a look. Where was it discovered? It's a by, law of the universe. Where was it discovered? By humans on Earth. Where, on Earth? Thank you! So yes. it applies to the Earth! No, it does not. Let me read to you the oh second law of thermodynamics. God. So this is from Chemistry Libre Text, uh, you know, a, a very good source for physics. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of the entire universe as an isolated system will always increase over time. The second law also states that the changes in the entropy in the universe can never be negative. So, I want to read that once more for you, Dave, so that you fully understand. The second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that the state of entropy of the entire universe as an isolated system will always increase over time. The second law no, also no. states that the change in entropy in the universe can never be negative. That is the second law of thermodynamics, not what you are going on about. In the entire universe. So now we all of a sudden know what's in the entire universe. That's what the second law of thermodynamics refers to. So now this we all we all automatically know what's in the entire Craig, that's fucking ridiculous. Are case, you man. referring to the second law of thermodynamics? Yes or no? Do we have grass pressure here on Earth? Yes or no? Are you referring to the second law of thermodynamics? Yes or no? I was. Right. Well the second law of thermodynamics is specifically about an isolated okay. system and the only okay, isolated system that we know of is the entire universe coincidentally how do you know that, you know that? because how there is, do you know that because there is no other isolated systems you don't know that there is no other isolated systems Craig, because there, there's always an outside of something the but there is no outside system. the universe
How is the universe an isolated system when it's ever expanding by your claims? Because there's nothing outside of it. Everything, if it's everything ever is inside it. And again, this isn't my claim, Dave. This isn't my claim. This is what physics says about the second law of thermodynamics, which you cited. Okay. This is your right. claim. You know the, your fine. claim is that the second law of thermodynamics says that gas pressure on Earth is okay. impossible. You are completely okay, wrong because the second law of thermodynamics uh, applies right. specifically and only to an isolated system. And the only isolated okay. system now, that physics and well, science what... recognizes is the entire universe. The entire universe, which coincidentally, Dave, oh my is my container for all of the gas pressure in the universe oh my god all right listen you want to play that game fine this i'm not playing any games I'm, 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 uh, uh, all right you know what forget the second law of thermodynamics okay we'll go i'll go a different oh, route. yeah i destroy you on it and okay. we have to forget it now. we have we have gas pressure here on earth correct correct gravity causes that okay now okay fine please provide a physical demonstration of a gas pressure gradient in a vacuum with no physical barrier separating the two. Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Nah. No, no, Mercury, no, 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 no. Physical demonstration. I'm sorry, is Earth not physical? I, is it a demonstration, Craig? It's a pretty damn a good demonstration. Barrier. Yeah, absolutely, 100% so pretty. Uh, and, but if you don't want to use lie, Earth, Craig. I can use another physical thing with a gas pressure Craig, gradient you, you um, in the fourth planet from in, the sun, in, in, in Mars. In or, or we could use another Mars one. The what? second, uh, wait, Dave, you right. asked, you asked, and let me finish. Here's, here's Mars, another Mars, physical, Mars. here's another physical demonstration. The second planet no, 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 no. from the sun called Please Venus. Provide... No, I want the experiment, Craig. Give it to me now. You want the experiment that shows? Yeah, what? I'm, I'm a physical. I want, I want, ex I want experiment showing that it is possible, not just a just a story. That it is possible to have a gas pressure gradient inside a vacuum with no uh, no barriers, physical barriers separating the two. Please show me that. Well, I would need a large enough mass to be able to do that. And Please, the only the only large the only large enough mass we have available. To, ah, don't interrupt me when I'm talking, Dave. You are talking about what our model says, right? And what our model says is that we need a large enough mass to do that. All right? We don't live on a I, model, Craig. You, we have a we don't model live on a of model. our. We have, this is what we're talking about, what our model of the Earth says. And a model yeah, is just a model description. Is wrong. Uh, it's your not model wrong. Is wrong. It's, it, it works every time, right? So, anyway, right? If we're you guys talking. You have excuses uh, after excuses. If you. You want me to answer the question, Dave, or are you going to keep jabbering? I don't want you to answer anything. I want you to show me the experiment that I asked for. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have observations hey, that we can make of other planets that have the gas pressure gradient. You don't know if those things, those things are, are, are intangible. You can't, no, there's you not, we've, know if those we, we've sent physical. people to the, the moon and there's lots of robots we've sent to Mars. Bullshit, that is the, what we're arguing about, Craig. The validity of those stories, because they're just They're so not stories, stories, they're facts. It's, it, you know, it's done. Uh, and again, I do not care about oh your incredulity. God. But anyway, right? What you, you you're, say- You're real quick, you just say do, stuff. Dave, do, do, uh, do you want me to, do you want me to do this or not, okay? I right. want the experiment, right? Okay, so you Dave, are what, you're what you are saying right now is pseudo. Dave, I'm going to ask you to not talk for two minutes. All right? Can you do that? Don't talk for two well, minutes. If you do the fucking see for me, Craig, because I've been shut yeah. up and you just do constantly interrupt me. No, just every, like you, just literally like you, every time I speak, you interrupt. Now I'm going to ask you to not talk for two minutes. Can you do that? Good. Right. Okay. So, what you are doing is one straw manning what we say, and two asking me to do pseudoscience because you are asking for a specific demonstration that matches your personal standards of evidence and criteria which isn't how no. science works uh, no. I, 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 I said two minutes all. i said two minutes dave Go give ahead. me two give me two minutes right you are requesting your own specific standards of evidence and criteria which is pseudoscience and you are straw manning what we say happens. The reason we have a gas pressure gradient is because of the forces created 
by gravity. Those forces that are created by gravity are not strong enough to do it on a smaller scale, whilst on Earth, because all of the gas will still be busy being attracted to Earth. This has been demonstrated, and I'm going to go back to it, by the Cavendish experiment. The Cavendish experiment is a perfect example of... It doesn't have... It doesn't have wait, I'm variable. still talking. The Cavendish experiment is a perfect example of what we say gravity will do. With the Newton's law of gravitational... I'm still talking. I'm still talking. I'm still talking which matches Newton's gravitational law of attraction, Fg equals gm1, m2 over r squared. Using that formula, you can calculate the gravitational force calculate. on... I'm still talking! Using that formula, you can calculate the gravitational force being applied to molecules of air as you get further and further away from the surface of the Earth. When you do the maths, matching the experimental evidence, it shows that there will be a gas pressure gradient when you have a mass large enough, like one that is the planet of Earth. So, the way to demonstrate what you're asking is to get something with sufficient mass to do that. The only way yes, you can do that okay. is to get another planet. Yeah. So, there is Mars, there is Jupiter, there is Venus, there is uh, you know, Saturn. There is so many demonstrations of gas pressure gradients, and I do not care if you don't believe we, they are there. We have sent things there to record them. Oh, yeah. It's as simple as that. So, um, so just to clarify, the force imparted by gravity is just known as the gravitational force. That doesn't mean what, that yeah. gravity is a force. That's just the name of it so that we know what it is. But gravity is not a force. Correct. I've just explained that. So gravity in part, gravity, which is not a force, causes a the force of gravity? Yeah, yeah. Again, and the force of gravity is huh. just a name now you know, for the I'm, force you know imparted by gravity. Way, right? Uh, again, now, you know, they, they've let, let me let me let me let me respond. Mind. Let me respond just so you yeah. know. Let let me let me finish. Okay, again, just because it's called the force of gravity, we are not calling gravity a force. That's just a name for the force imparted by gravity, right? Well, that's it, that's ridiculous. Your incredulity is irrelevant. But that is ridiculous. You're telling me that you're 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 telling me that gravity. Is, which is not a force, it causes the force of gravity. Yeah, because there's an acceleration and a mass, <laughs> therefore you have oh a force. <laughs> oh my goodness. And again, you your, want, your but, incredulity about this is irrelevant, no, Dave. No, you it, have I a mass, it, this lighter has mass. Dave, this lighter okay, has mass. When I, Dave, 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 stop. Dave, okay. stop. This One lighter second. has, Dave, this lighter has mass. I let go of the lighter, it accelerates. Mass times acceleration equals Due to force. relative density. No, mass Due times acceleration. The, mass, you know, relative density is debunked by my prediction. Right? So, we've done, we've done the observation, we've done the hypothesis, relative we've done the prediction. Right? Your... So, what is the next step after prediction? I get all that, Craig, but what, we're, what you keep saying, you keep saying that gravity, which is not a force causes the force of gravity so you're calling gravity not a force and a force in the same sense no uh, again listen to the words well, just because it's just because it's called the force of gravity we're not uh -huh. saying that gravity is a force that is just you a are, name you're calling it the force of gravity again that is just a name to explain where the force comes from oh my god Oh my God! You people are insane. Oh my! It's not my Lord. fault. You can't understand this. That's no, just a it's name. Not understanding. It's Nobody is important. saying gravity is specifically a force. That is just a name. Oh the God. force of gravity is the force imparted by gravity. Hey, Craig. I'm. I'm. I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that. Um, I want to thank you. I do have to go, and I am almost at stroke level right now. Well, I think we should continue this day because time. we didn't even get to cover the sextants. I, I, I understand, and you know what? I'll be more than willing to come back on the stream, and I thank awesome. you for having me, but I remember in, in the, I did tell you prior to starting that I do have to get my daughter. That's cool. Um, I'll never get in the way of parental duties. Um, thank you, Dave, for coming on. It's been interesting. No. Uh, unfortunately, I can no, tell you've been has, extremely and... indoctrinated by Nathan, and I'm going to do my best no, to try I mean, and break that for you. It's I. Uh...
I, I understand your thing. And, um, you know, uh, maybe maybe next, would you like position? to speak to a PhD that works with gravity next time? Sure, why not? What the hell? Who cares? Cool. Uh, I'm, 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 my mind's open to it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not, I am not uh, one of those guys that are just like, you know, no, 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 ears and fingers and, and you know, with closed eyes. It's not me. You know what I mean? But regardless of our position, I already told you before in emails or anything like that, I do think you're a good dude. We argue, no. but, you know. Well, you know, let's I, ask Nate. Let's ask Nate exactly what he thinks, shall we? So you don't need the toilet anymore. Well, now, Why? Because your body has reabsorbed all you know, of what was my, contained in your bladder. That you would. You, so. <laughs> all right, Dave. Well, thanks for joining me, and we'll arrange uh, another time for you to come back. You take it easy, man. Take it easy. Bye. Bye. Uh, well, unfortunately, Mitchell didn't join. Um, mainly because Mitchell just seems to have given out the link to join to random people because he's far too scared to come. Um, so Mitchell, you're a bitchel once again. Fight the flag, fight the flag, fight the flag, fight the fight the fight, fight the flag, 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 fight the fight the fight, fight the flag, 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 fight the fight the fight, fight the flag. Fight the flag, 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 fight the flag